Did I ever show you this bracelet? So what this is, I wear this as a reminder of uh, my dad's Alzheimer's. You see this? It says, live in love with all your might. Inside, on the other side, it says coreof4.com. The core of four relates to the four pillars of that the Alzheimer's Association talks about. It's nutrition, it's exercise, it's cognitive exercise stimulation, and number four is socialization, which is really hard, of course, with um, COVID. This but you may have not known that exercise and good nutrition is also has also been shown to be key in preventing or at least slowing Alzheimer's and or you know dementia and or mild cognitive impairment. Here let me show you this. Look. Yeah it says here the evidence is convincing both physical and mental exercise are absolutely essential in preventing Alzheimer's disease exercise increases blood flow to the brain neurogenesis of the growth of new brain cells growth of new brain cells in a study at Columbia University researchers showed that older men who exercised on a treadmill it went like this because the treadmill treadmill is not particularly exciting to me let me show you what is now you may not know that i'm a huge exercise nut you may know that i'm a huge nut but you may not have known that i'm a huge exercise and sort of health nut it's because one it's personal time to to just go out and and you know be contemplative i sort of meditate when i'm exercising and the way that you do that is breathing in and breathing out and even being aware of your left foot and your right foot and of course this is just a way of grounding yourself being aware of your mind and body together and it has this wonderful way of making us aware of what's outside you know of, of the smells there's just a tremendous amount of additional joy that we can get from being mindful outside one thing we talked about several episodes ago was a beginner's mind which is a matter of being open to new experiences and having sort of a, an adventurous sort of excitement. A beginner's mind doesn't have to be only for new experiences, for new information. It can just be sort of a mindset, an attitude of the way that you approach life. So keeping it adventurous and having a good workout all at the same time. Right over there is a, a street to go down and it'll be something different for me outside of my route. So I'm feeling a little bit of anxiety about that because it's, it's definitely out of my comfort zone. I don't know what's down there. I guess worst case scenario, I could call my mommy to come and pick me up if I really, if I, if I was about to drop dead of a heart attack, I would do that. Otherwise, I'm sure my pride would prevent that. All right, so I just ran about a mile and a half from all the way down there. I don't know if you can see traffic crossing down there. About a mile and a half. And beyond that, the other side too. And now, here's a block wall. I think I'm gonna have to go up over. just want to point out also that you know being out of your comfort zone could be simply a matter of tasting some different food every once in a while if you're a chocolate ice cream fan try pistachio almond mint you know something that you think is not going to be good you probably won't like it but at least you could say you tried something different for the day okay made it i'm not saying it to impress you i'm saying it to encourage you <laughs>